What's going on everyone, Burbank Aviation here and welcome back to another video. Today we have another unboxing for you guys. I'm sorry I haven't been able to do one of these in a while, but I'm super excited to dive in. We have three awesome models today. Uh, before we get started real quick, I want to give a huge shout out to Midwest Model Store for uh, shipping me a free model, uh, which you will see. I uh, want to get a huge shout out to them. Thank you so much. I'm super excited to be able to see this. I will definitely link them in the comments. Uh, like I said, thank you very much, Midwest Model Store. Um, I'm glad you sent me this, and I'm super excited to see it. But anyways, let's just get started. So we do have three models. Two of them are from the Midwest Model Store. Uh, like I said, they did ship one to me for free, and then we did actually buy one off of Amazon uh, because I did have a gift card. So this is the model I got by Midwest Model Store. Uh, the Southwest 77-800 in the Tennessee 1 uh, colors. This is a, I'm super excited to have this model. It's something I've been wanting for quite some time now, the Tennessee 1 livery, because I do think it is an awesome livery right now. I'm very glad to have it. This will be my second uh, 77 800 in a special livery along with Freedom 1. And then I also have two of the Heart 1 77 800. So that's super awesome to have this. And then also from Midwest Model Store, um, another NG models here. And this is another one I'm very excited to have. This one took a while to get to me. Had um, quite a few delays here. Uh, the United 77 Max 9 here in the Continental Livery, which I think the box looks absolutely outstanding. I think this is a very nice looking box um, here by NG Models. Uh, so it's very excited to have both these models. And then I also have, this one is from Amazon, and... Uh, this one is actually a Gemini Jets, although the box, when I'm looking at it, does look pretty damaged, so we are going to uh, hope for the best. But the FedEx uh, Express 777F in the Interactive Series, so this is a, a super cool model I'm excited to get. The box is a little damaged, you can see uh, here, there's a crease right there, that on the top, that on the bottom, and then... A bunch of like poke holes in the back so i'm hoping it won't be damaged but anyway let's just get into it so i'm going to start off with the fedex triple seven f and so far it does look fairly good doesn't look damaged uh so that is a good sign i'm hoping that it does stay that way this is an interactive series i did just get my first one the ups 747 dash uh 400 freighter recently and that was a super awesome model so i've gotten another one and we are actually good. I'm surprised uh, seeing how much damage was actually on the box. Um, so it's a very good time to see that this is actually in good condition. This one's interesting because it comes with the cargo doors um, not open. Here, let me grab a pen real quick. Uh, this one actually comes with the cargo doors not in it. So you can see the big, the uh, main one uh, right here. And then also if we kind of... Uh, rotate around this side the two smaller doors right there and then right there uh, We are going to move it back a little bit so we can get a better view of this model uh, This is a very nice model here by Gemini Jets. They did a nice job on this uh, We're gonna go over a couple quick things and then I'm gonna show you uh, both the modes that we can have this in so we got the uh, Cockpit windows right here the nose cone the main landing gear uh, the world on time uh, they're logo right there um main door the main boarding door uh fedex express beautiful uh livery right there uh the fedex express on the engines the main engines uh the wings right there with the um landing gear and antenna moving on over here to the back side uh the main cargo door right here uh some more antennas the registration november 889 or fox shot delta with the american flag and the gorgeous purple FedEx tail, which I think they did a very awesome job at. Um, if you guys did not see my community community post, I put this out probably about somewhere within the past month. Um, I am actually working towards doing Ontario Airport, uh, so that's why I've been gathering so many cargo aircraft lately. I've not I've gathered um, two. I've probably I think I've gotten three this year, two in the past month or so. Um, so I've been really working on trying to get uh, cargo aircraft. Do need quite a few more UPS. UPS is what I'm needing because um, that's what mainly flies there. Uh, would like a FedEx MD-11 and probably another 767. 
Um, in Amerjet, either a 757 or a 767, they fly both, but I would really only need one. And then in and then a Prime Air 767. Uh, so that's what I'm needing right now. But um, anyways, back to the model. We got the tail again. The um, American flag with the November 889 Foxtrot Delta. The back cargo door right there. Uh, here are the wings. The main landing gear, of course, with the six beautiful landing gear on each side. Uh, FedEx Express on the engine right there. The actual FedEx logo. Uh, the antenna right there. The front cargo door right there. Uh, the main landing gear, uh, the, uh, door, uh, sorry, uh, this is the, oh, I forget, what do they use this door for on cargo aircraft? Honestly, I forget. I know it has a different purpose on cargo aircraft. Uh, the word on time, their motto right there, and then the cockpit windows right there. Uh, so that's about it for the model. I'm not going to quickly kind of put it together, um, so I can show you what both modes look like with doors open and then doors closed. Okay, so here's the actual aircraft itself with the cargo doors. You can see you have uh, the open one there in the back and then one in the front. And then if we spin it around, I'm trying to be careful so I don't knock off any of the cargo doors. Uh, if we move it here, you can see the uh, main one open here in the back. So that's the open configuration. Now I'm going to uh, take these off and then put on the uh, closed configuration. So let me do that real quick. So now we have the closed doors configuration here. The only thing I'm not a big fan of with the interactive series is when you do have the doors actually closed, it just does look a little bit off. As you can see, you can kind of see the outline of where it's supposed to be. Um, besides that, I mean, I do love these aircraft since you can uh, actually kind of um, customize them to where, um, what do you call it, they do. Uh, have the doors open, which is I think is really cool. This this side isn't as bad. You can see there's one. There is a number two right there where the express is, the very front of it. Uh, so I think it's definitely a very nice model. I think it is a very detailed model by Gemini Jets, and I'm super glad to have it. This will be my second FedEx model. Um, so I think this is a nice one. This is definitely a nice add-on here, and I'm super glad to be able to have this. Now we're going to be moving on to our first model by Midwest Model Store, or from Midwest Model Store, and also by um, NG Models here. So real quick, we're going to just take a quick look at the box. I uh, got the Boeing 737-800 up here, of course, Southwest. The beautiful Tennessee 177-800 with the uh, circle, three stars right there. Uh, Tennessee 1, of course, right there, the NG logo, 1 to 400 scale collectible models. Uh, the registration right here, which is, let me zoom in on it for you. Uh, November 8620 Hotel, uh, so there is the registration. Uh, moving on over to the side, it got the uh, NG uh, logo right there, the 77 ended it, and then Southwest. The back, pretty much the same. Uh, Tennessee 1, uh, the uh, actual aircraft, the pinwheel, as I call it. Um, and the, it's pretty much the same thing all around it. And then on this side, you just got the actual aircraft with the registration. Uh, so I'm super excited to be able to actually have this model. I've been really looking forward to uh, getting the Tennessee Wing 7700 and it looks good, completely undamaged. Uh, so that is awesome. Thank you so much, Midwest Model Store. Huge shout out to them for sending me this. Uh, I do appreciate it. Yep, completely unbroken. And wow, is this an amazing model by NG Models. Um, just took these boxes off to the side and then we will get a much closer look at the beautiful Tennessee 1 737 I'm actually gonna kind of try and adjust the camera here, get some uh, better lighting on it. Uh, lighting's not the best right now, so it's not uh, popping as well as it does in person, uh, but still a very nice looking model here by, um, what do you call it, NG Models here. Uh, thank you so much, like I said, Minimal Model Star, I can't express it enough. Very much appreciate you guys sending me this model link uh, down below. Uh, use code Red River Aviation uh, for 10% off. I think there's one other. I think Mile High Aviation also is 10% off. Uh, so there's a couple codes there for Midwest Model Store. Um, but anyways, we got the cockpit right there. The Tennessee one uh, right there. The main boarding door with the heart logo. The uh, front landing gear and the landing gear door. Uh, the gorgeous pinwheel, as I call it, with the three stars on the blue. These beautiful red, white, and blue engines with these split skin guitars right there. The main landing gear. The overwing exit doors, which if we tilt it up, you can see the overwing exit right there. Uh, the radar box. 
Uh, moving on to the back here, you can see we got the, zoom in just a little bit, get a better view. Got the registration right there, American flag, the uh, back boarding door, the Southwest logo, and then the iconic red and yellow stripe for the Southwest Special Delivery Aircrafts. Um, moving on over to the, here, the back side, uh, the Southwest sale, like I said, the American flag right there, the back uh, catering door, November 8620 Hotel uh, for the registration right there, all the windows. Uh, moving on to the midsection of the aircraft, the split skin guitars, the uh, beautiful engines with the overwing exit uh, doors right there. And then if we kind of rotate on side, you can see overwing exit right there. Uh, moving to the front of the aircraft, the beautiful Tennessee one, or um, pinwheel as I like to call it, uh, with the uh, cockpit right there, Tennessee one, uh, the main catering door, the Heart One logo. And then the uh, front landing gear with the uh, main landing gear door. Uh, so I think this is a super awesome model by NG Models. Definitely is a nice looking one. Uh, so that's, I've got most of the models that have been released um, that I want, that have been released. Um, I'm just looking for now Maryland 1. I know it's still out there fairly common on the market. Uh, I know Panda Fox Toys has it. Midwest Model Store I think still has it. Um, so that one, and then Illinois one. I'm not sure if Illinois one is still uh, as common out there on the market. So I'm hoping I'll be able to um, get it. Uh, but those are definitely the Southwest aircrafts I'm going to be looking for next. But as always, my main priority is to get some 77-700s or the hard one livery, both winglets and split skin guitars, probably two or three of each, since they are so common. And I do not have any 77-700s in the hard one uh, livery, so that's definitely something I need. So very nice job uh, here by NG Models and Midwest Models. So thank you guys once again for sending me this model for free. And then the final model of today is the United 77 Max 9. Uh, very nice looking box here. The only downside is that little pink chip uh, right there out of the box. But real quick, we're going to go over to what it says. You can see the registration down there with the United logo, November 37508. The beautiful 77 Max 9 with the NG Models logo down here, there it is, right there. The Boeing 77 Max 9, uh, pretty much the same around the box as Tennessee 1, so we are gonna spend no wasted time on that, and we are just going to get straight into uh, opening this package up. This model I've been waiting for about a month. Uh, shipping difficulties, wrong addresses, uh, and stuff like that have caused this huge delay. Um, so I'm glad that it's finally in here and it is a very nice looking model looks like nothing's broken so far uh, and nothing is so that is a, a very amazing sign this is an awesome looking model so far and I'm super excited to get into this let's see uh, the max mold is fairly new for NG models so I'm excited this is my first NG models max so I'm excited to see what their mold looks like and I think it is a very nice mold here um, <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, very nice job here by NG Models. I think it does pop a little bit better than it does on camera. Um, I think it's just because of the way the shadow looks. If you turn it, I think it looks slightly better. Um, but I think this is an awesome model. We're going to get into uh, some details here. So let's uh, start with the front. Got the nose cone, the uh, cockpit windows right there, the Star Alliance uh, logo, the door, um, the Sorry, the front uh, landing gear door, the landing gear itself, the main uh, boarding door, the United logos right there, the continent, uh, the stripe going down, uh, the uh, aircraft on these Continental Maxes, the beautiful engines with these. Uh, I like to call it the Razorback engine. Um, I think it's I think it's a fairly cool name for it. It's kind of what it reminds me of too. The um, winglets right there for the Max. Uh, the uh, U.S. flag logo, the registration right there, which is, sorry, November 37508. The tail right here with the beautiful Continental Globe colors. Uh, and then moving in around on over here to this side, we are going to hit this back side. Uh, so we got the Continental colors, as always. Uh, the back catering door, the American flag, the registration, November 37508. The uh, second to last uh, catering door here, the 
beautiful Max 9. Uh, some people call them winglets, some people call it sharklets. I, I call them uh, sharklets as it's pretty much what it is. Um, the Razorback engines, as I like to call them, the overwing exit doors with the actual overwing exit painted right here on the aircraft. There it is. Um, the front of the aircraft now. Uh, sorry, we got the main lane gear right there. Uh, United logo, uh, the continental strap making its way all the way down the aircraft, the front catering door, the, uh, front landing gear with the front landing gear door, Star Alliance logo, the cockpit windows, and the, um, nose cone. So this is another very nice model by NG Models. They always seem to impress me on these models. I think they look absolutely, uh, stunning. I'm ho I'm always hoping to get some more in the future. I have one on order. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I have one on order. It was a delayed model, uh, so I'm hoping it'll be here soon, within the next month. And then I, there's another delayed model that I'm waiting for. I'm probably going to wait about another, at least a couple weeks, if not a month, until I order it. Because um, hopefully it will be in stock by then. And it will finally get out of the uh, factory. Because I know NG Models have been ha has been having a little bit of troubles recently uh, with delayed models. Um, but I am hoping to be able to get... Uh, two more NG models. One of them is ordered. Um, I have my birthday is coming up. Uh, here I think it'll. This video will probably come out about three days before my birthday. Uh, so that'll be uh, super excited. I'm hoping to get quite a few models from that, and then also, um, the two models that I have on the way. Which stay tuned for that. Hopefully they'll be here by the end of the month. Um, so another nice model here by NG Models. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We have three awesome models uh, here in today's video, and I'm super glad to be able to have all of these. Uh, once again, for the final time, thank you guys so much at Midwest Model Store for sending me this Tennessee one. Uh, link will be down in the description uh, to buy uh, buy that ten percent off for I know the code Red River Aviation. Uh, all lowercase is a ten percent off coup or code. Um, the uh, mile high aviation code might still um, be around. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't used that code in a while. Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe as it really helped me out. Uh, three amazing models here today, both by NG Models and uh, Gemini Jets. I'm very glad to have them, especially the FedEx. I think it'll be a very nice add on, especially in other interactive series. So I'm glad to have that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one.